Grit is about passion, perseverance, and resilience. Hi, I'm Francesca Vanin, and I'm a former teacher and principal here at Success Academy. My name is Jen Haynes. I am a former teacher, assistant principal, elementary school principal, and middle school principal here at Success Academy Charter Schools. Today we're going to talk about Grit by Angela Duckworth. We all know that kids are going to face challenges throughout their careers and we want them to be able to face these with confidence and the ability to say, I got this. It might be hard, but I can get through this and I know what to do in order to get through this. There are so many reasons it's important for kids to learn about grit. Obviously, what jumps out initially is that life is fraught with failure and it's unavoidable. You, it's better to accept that and ensure that we are preparing kids for that type of failure in as low stakes of an environment as, as possible. Um, we have very high standards here at Success Academy. The bar is high, not because we enjoy challenge for the sake of challenge, but because we know that our kids are capable and uh, a rising tide lifts all ships. We have set a very high standard. We know that kids will rise to the occasion. So one strategy is that every day kids are faced with challenging math problems. They are required to stop and really think about what these questions are asking them. We know they might get stuck, they might be confused, but that's what we want, that's okay. This is when the learning and the perseverance really happen. And when kids do persevere through that, and it might not be in one day, but maybe over the course of a couple days with the help of their peers and their teachers, we always celebrate that growth. And then kids see in themselves that where at first they might have thought they couldn't do something, they didn't know, they become better learners, better mathematicians, and more confident kids in every part of the day. I believe the quote that Duckworth uses is fall seven, rise eight. And that's really what we're trying to teach the kids is that what's important is that for every time you fall down, you get back up and you try again. When you have a really rigorous math problem and you can't figure out the solution, you maybe go ask for help to try to figure it out. If you fail an assessment, you go to office hours and you try to figure out how you can do better the next time. It's both about the resiliency, but also empowering scholars to see how they can really take ownership and be self-directed in their response to failure. 